no matter if this is just a building, it's something that means to everybody in this village. Rosalind Daniels and her family could feel the heat on their skin as fire destroyed an Anglican church across the street from their home, a place their community has gathered for over 130 years. When my children seen that, they were just so heartbroken because they have so many memories in that church. The fire on Gitwingak First Nation, the latest in a spate of suspicious fires after multiple unmarked grave sites were discovered at former residential schools. The arson and vandalism being condemned by indigenous leaders. I can't understand the frustration, the anger and the hurt and the pain, there's no question. Uh, but to burn, burn things down is not our way. Today, the prime minister said such acts are unacceptable. Burning down churches uh, is actually depriving people who are in need of grieving and healing and mourning uh, from places where they can actually uh, grieve and reflect and look for support. Justin Trudeau also urged churches to access federal funding to help places of worship enhance security. Ottawa added $2 million in this year's budget to that program, originally created in the wake of hate crimes. But some church leaders say accessing the money is slow and difficult. But it, it is a challenge. Some, I know that some groups have said, you know what, there's, there's so much um, paperwork or administrivia involved in that, I'm, I'm not going to make the application. The tower is on fire now. Back in Gitwingak, Daniels fears lives could be lost if this continues. Aboriginal or not. I don't think anger is the way to deal with it. And we need to sit down and think about what we could do. As that national conversation continues, Ottawa says it has no plans to accelerate the flow of funding from its security infrastructure program, nor simplify the application process. A disappointment to many who want added protection now. Travis Danraj, CBC News, Ottawa.